everyone, back with another video today and we're going to talk a little bit about success and the relationship between various aspects of your life and your success when it comes to achieving your goals, whether that be weight loss, whether it be better relationships, whatever your goal is, the things we're going to talk about are going to tie in, alright? And so you'll see that little graph up there, I'm going to draw it slightly lower again, just so it's easy for you guys to see, but if you think about this table here, and um, you've got success, which I'm just going to put with an S, and U, which I'm just going to put with a Y, right? Um, this is how a lot of people like to think people become successful. Yeah, They think they have this really, really easy ride, and that everything goes to plan throughout the whole of life, and they start here, and they get to their end goal by just continually getting better. So if your goal was weight loss, they just continually lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. Goal. Make more money, they start making more money. You see what I mean? Everyone likes to think of successful people or, yeah, successful people who have achieved the goal that you want to achieve, having this linear relationship, this easy ride. Okay? That's just a bullshit story that you tell yourself. It's not true. You know it's not true. You know what I'm saying is, you know, correct in the sense that this is how you view it. And the reality is, for most people, in order to get here, it goes a little bit like this, right? It's up and down, it's up and down, it's up and down. All the time, it's up and down. Life happens, life events happen, social events happen, things happen, shit happens, life just happens. You get that point? Yeah, life happens, right? So, there, there, it's just up and down all the time. It's a roller coaster. Life's just, just it's one big roller coaster. And nobody that's that successful got there like that. You know, it, it goes up and down all the time. But I tell you something that successful people do, and this is why one of the reasons why a lot of people fail in their search for their goal, whatever that is. It's this thing, I'm going to rub that out now. Um, okay, so it's this thing of can versus can. So, we have can versus can't, right? The successful people focus on this more than that. Okay, I'm not saying that they don't focus on what they can't do occasionally when they're in little slumps, because everyone does, human nature. They will focus on this more. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> Both of my brothers are professional football players. For you Americans, I'm talking about, um, the American people listening, I'm talking about soccer, not American football. So, they're both professional football players, right? Which is all I ever wanted to be growing up. Like most kids over in this country, I just wanted to be a professional football player. And they've, they've managed to achieve that, right? They're both younger than me too. If, however, right, all I was doing right now was focusing on the fact that I can't do that. I can't ever be a professional footballer. The dream's gone. I can't do it. I'll never be as successful as those two in that area of life. I wouldn't be here right now making this video for you. Okay? Because I wouldn't be focusing on what I can do. I'd be too busy focusing on what I can't, which means that I wouldn't be here presenting this video trying to help you achieve your goals. Because I can do this, but I can't do that. Right? You see? And it's this thing, when you look in the mirror, if your goal is weight loss, and you look in the mirror and you say, you know what? I'm not happy with the way I look. I want to lose some weight. Great. You're admitting to yourself that you're not happy and you want to do something about it. Fantastic. Right? That's always a good start. But then what happens? You make excuses. I can't, I don't have enough time. I can't do it. Money is limited right now, I just I just can't. I can't commit. Oh, but what about all the social things, events and stuff that I might have to give up? Oh no, I can't do that. Which you probably wouldn't have to do it if you were following a, a flexible kind of plan. Um, but that's, you know, another video. But if you focus on these things that you believe are stopping you from achieving it and you just focus on what you can't do the whole time, you're going to fail. Long term, you're going to fail. And you'll get into one of these slumps and you'll stay there. That is the harsh reality. That, that's the harsh truth, right? That if you focus more on this than you do on this, you are going to struggle. So the question every day when it comes to you achieving your goal, right, in being successful, whatever the goal is, is to ask yourself this. What can I do? 
Um, and this is kind of a question that I got from a couple of people. Frankie Fairs was one of them who I first kind of heard this from. And then Jen Sinclair and David Delanave have a, a, a similar question that they talk to about their members at the gym in Minneapolis. But what can you do that is going to help you achieve your goal? What can you do on a daily basis? Not what you can't, not what you must. What can you do? There's a big, big, big difference there, right? And if all you did on a daily basis was ask yourself this question, what can I do that's going to help me reach my goals today? You'll get there much quicker. Much quicker. Very simple question. Most people say, I've got to do this. I must do this. This is what I have to do. And let me tell you why that fails a little bit, right? You don't know what's going to happen on any given day. You have no idea. No idea. You give yourself a to-do list to help you reach your goal. What happens when you don't do one of those things? Okay, so you have a to-do list. To-do, right? You have all these different things that you want to get done that day that are going to help you get to where you want to be, right? Let's say you, you do that one, you do that one, but these two you just can't fit in, right? You just can't fit them in. So what happens? You beat yourself up. That has a negative psychological impact because you're telling yourself you're not good enough and then you, what you do, right, and this is, this is where it all comes back, is you focus on those things that you can't do on that day. Then we come back to this, you're focusing on what you can't do, right? Whereas if you ask yourself this, you don't have a to-do list, you have a can-I-do list. Can I do? Okay? You then have blah, 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 blah. Can I do these things? Let's say you get those two done. But, again, those two bottom things you don't get done. But it doesn't matter because you've said, what can I do? Well, you've been able to do those. You can do those. You can. This isn't a to-do list. This isn't, I must do these things. It's, well, can I do them? Simple mindset shift. Huge, huge difference that stops you focusing on this. As soon as you stop focusing on this, and you focus more on this, you'll get better results. That is the simple truth of the matter. Whatever your goal is, this is greater than that. I want you to start trying to apply that over the next week or two to whatever your goal is. Like I said, it can be anything. But you can apply the same question, right? And focus more on this than this. And I, I'm... 99999999999.9% sure that you will get much better results if you do that. If you don't, let me know because I'd be I'd be interested to know why and why you think that was. But I'm I know you'll get better results if you focus on this as opposed to that and ask yourself that rather than giving yourself things that you have to do. I hope that's helped. It's gone on for a little bit longer than I expected. If you've got any questions, let me know. Post them, in the, um, post them in the comment box below and fire them at me and I will do my best to get them back to you. But you've got to really try and put this into action. It's no good me giving you all this information if you don't use it, right? You need, to, you need to use it to an extent. So for the next week or two, use it instead of this and let me know what happens. I'll speak to you soon.